Hello and welcome to the show. We started this week's Ferris episode with that Scotty guy on GTA 5 having loaded in just into a multiplayer session with a little bump from the Emirates and GTA 5 physics has had enough. Yes, one supercar on its roof, one flying through the air for no real good reason. Doesn't make much sense from the other vehicle's point of view either. Uh, it's just a, a light initial. I think the game gets confused as to which car is supposed to be where and... Uh, physics just decides both should be flying, one ending up on its roof. So <laughs> sometimes you've got to love that good old GTA 5 physics. Y2K Pac-Man also on at GTA racing along the motorway when the game has other ideas. Yes, that is a truck spawned directly in the gap the Banshee was going towards. You are committed at a lot of speed there. Nothing you can do. I so like how there's no driver spawning. The game literally just threw a truck at the player there. As CJ Dimes up next on Horizon 4 is racing in a, I think it's a cross-country event, this one. And just from the off, things have gone relatively well for the Alpha 33. However, once more, the game decides that this is not how it shall work. As we head up towards a river, things go a little bit bad for the Alpha, when a trophy truck kind of climbs on top of it and then pushes the classic race car through the floor. Turns out, Trophy Truck beats little Alfa Romeo. And we move next on to the crew. Now, I have seen glitches before where cars get stuck in the wall. The Mercedes here gets a sort of a little bit bobbling across uh, over some crests, try to get it corrected for the next corner and doesn't quite position it well. Touches the wall and the car gets stuck. Now, normally that's the end of it, but no, no, this one wants to continue going along down the motorway for good luck. Bear in mind, this is 45 minutes into a race. And we've got shenanigans occurring. It's still happily shenaniganzing its way down the motorway. It's now managed to ping the nose out and it's going to do a little bit of a balancing act. A lot, yeah, yeah, we're, not, we're no longer stuck in the wall. Thankfully, though, with the nose out, we always have a roll as it then recovers. With the nose out, it does actually get back on the floor again, which is something. Uh, Asia Proverb also on the crew. Also having a similar issue, a big wheelie for the Mura this time around. Things went quite badly wrong. It's stuck. Rather than going along, this time the Mura starts falling and glitching. It does eventually fall. I say it falls over this one and that will force the game into a reset. But uh, yeah, not, not, not quite so good. Uh, Quayley up next on Mafia 3 is, well again, minding their own business. Didn't quite see the car coming out of the junction. That will go for a big flip and a spin. Lands on its wheels. Quite an impressive amount of pirouettes. Yeah, that's why you don't run red lights. Uh, <laughs> hidden behind all the traffic, sudden appearing car. Things did not end well. Now we move next on to Autumn Blister with some rather questionable rejoining from the AI. Yes, that is an AI car quite a long way out in the weeds. And the player did not have the time. Lost front wing, couldn't get it stopped at the hairpin. And that is, I mean, that's pretty much uh, game over right there. So AI cars battling away. The car on the outside uh, just runs out, of, runs out of grip, basically. However, decides the best way to rejoin the circuit is directly in front of the player car. Yeah. I mean, the speed that's going at you really don't have enough time to react. And you aren't to know that the AI is going to do it. From that angle, it's the worst angle. It's such a violent... Like you expect it to kind of rejoin at a smoother angle, but that was at such a violent angle. There's very little... Uh, very little doing end up... Well, it was a Vettel rejoin and a Vettel park at the hairpin. Uh, Falcon King up next on Drive Club. Uh, gets a good start. Uh, driving the rough here, getting up the inside of a couple of vehicles. However, well, a high-speed circuit, this one, really uh, up into the 200 kilometers an hour, and just a little bit of a bobble across a crest. Clips the inside bank. We go for a number of cartwheels before, well, picking off a little bit of an invisible wall, and everything's fine. I mean, probably a bit of puke came out, but the car, that's still working. Uh, <laughs> leather cap up next on Mud Runner. Now, they're trying to do a little bit of abseiling with the car. However, A, it's quite dangerous anyway. So you get the car, you kind of uh, tow rope it. I can't remember the proper name for the um, for the winch. There we go. You get, you get the connector. The, th the thing is, just as the car is about to go over, the winch is disconnected. Now we're stuck with car going downhill that was not supposed to be going downhill unassisted. Uh, amazingly, it gets to the bottom of the hill still working. It's quite broken, but it does get to the bottom of the hill. Uh, the truck proceeds to try and follow it down. That definitely didn't go to plan. Uh, the car's 
whacked onto its side. It actually comes back down onto it. I thought it was going to end up on its roof. Turns out, abseiling with cars, bad. I think we can just say, abseiling with cars, bad. Ivano, uh, learning that trees are difficult to deal with when you have a plane. Yes, that was a roll and a flip from the aircraft. I don't know my aircraft, no idea. But uh, pulls up not quite in time. It's a good, good recovery. Flips the plane over, um, manages to get it back without ending up in the next set of trees. But that's all very, very low to the ground as well. So there's not much room to be working with. And finally, <laughs> Mustang Bugatti with an IRL clip. This from, I believe, an autocross session where, yes, you get James May awards in real life as well with racing. Sometimes it happens. I imagine with this sort of stuff, it's actually quite easy to try to figure out what way you're supposed to be going. And the skyline, nope, that's not where you're supposed to be ending up. That's definitely, now it's not a particularly easy bit to get turned around either. Not a particularly easy bit to fill. <laughs> you're not supposed to be over there. The amount of times we've managed to goof up uh, with some of, the, some of the, like, the GTA races we've had where it's not always exactly clear where you're supposed to be going. We've just ended up wandering around. It's nice to see it happens in uh, real motorsport from time to time as well. Very nice car to have got lost with. But uh, <laughs> there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There's a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Fowler's Clips mission section, and in there you can find all the rules and how to submit them. But that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye. Bye.